Well, I really do feel that the market has taken on a misleading story. And the account is the accompanying higher rodent implies lower stock costs generally. That is false by any means. As a matter of fact, stock costs have been exceptional. When the 10 years been somewhere in the range of five and seven, then they have when it's been somewhere in the range of three and five. So higher expansion implies somewhat more income for organizations. That is not really something terrible. And profit is at last everything that is important. And I'll say to you, I mean, a ton of people clearly look to, once they begin cutting that, the market truly pulls back a tad to your direct. How about we discuss counsel toward financial backers? Um, a portion of your viewpoints. What do you let someone know who has a more drawn out term? Standpoint, where would it be? A good idea for them, they set a cash to work in the event that you trust in the simulated intelligence story, which I do. And you accept that it will drive an innovation advancement super cycle, the advantage organizations and profit subsequently. Then financial backers should be in. Um, thus, you can exchange around the edges on the off chance that you're engaged by it. Yet, I think this is a cycle you simply need to be in. And you could be in enormous stocks. You could be in mid cap stocks. You can be in little cap stocks, which haven't kicked in yet. I'm invigorated for when they do. Um, so own this market is the will be the guidance I offer. Definitely, it was fascinating on the grounds that when we were speaking, I mean, I generally think about that expression, back up the truck loaded up. I mean, so you truly feel that it's a great opportunity to get in. Would you do a ton of mitigating risk over this year? We are seeing some unpredictability. That is what we do um, on the off chance that you gave me, you know, cash to contribute. Right now, we buy in it, in presumably through the course of the mid-year. You realize the main quarter was up 10, 12%. If we annualize that, we'd be up 44% of the year. Think about the thing. We won't do that. Right? So this 5% drawback we're in is solid in a normal, you know, political decision. Year, you get a 15% pullback. And afterward, a 26% convention. So assuming we're in a, you know, look for the multi-day moving normal, which we might be, who knows? Um, I think you get involved with that. Intel's quarter one income report is not far off on April 25th. And keeping in mind that numerous tech financial backers wouldn't respect this occasion particular with most of the glorious seven, likewise detailing procuring. Soon there's a ton to unload for we who follow the chip monster intently. As a matter of fact, a few financial backers and experts are saying that Intel's income could stir up the semiconductor market. And that is the very thing that we will discuss in this video. We'll likewise discuss whether financial backers ought to pick up the pace and purchase Intel stock before income. Yet before we do that, to stay aware of Intel's most recent updates and stay aware of the financial exchange's most recent news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post on numerous occasions day to day about the greatest changes and business people on the lookout. So click the follow button. If you would rather not miss the freshest market refreshes. Now back to the present video, invite back to the show. David Woodell with us. President and boss speculation planner at Lella Partners. It's good to see you, extraordinary to see you. I'm happy you're here since I realize you're feeling quite good in light of our discussion and simulated intelligence. The weapons contest, the computer-based intelligence frenzy. It's not over, is it? No. It's started, let me know all the more. Well, it's 1994, right? So assuming you return and take a gander at the sending of the web, Somewhere in the range of 94 and 2006, income developed at more than 10% a year. Even with 2001, where income contracted 30%. Generally, earrings become 78%. So, in the event that you accept that man-made intelligence has to some extent as much effect as the web reception would have. 
Then we will see 10 or more profit development for a really long time. I'll let you know. I had an incredible discussion with Michael Harris, who's the head of worldwide capital business sectors here at the New York Stock Trade. And his occupation fundamentally is to bring privately owned businesses public. And he said a modest bunch of artificial intelligence organizations. And there's such a lot of cash uninvolved prepared to put resources into these kinds of organizations and how it's developing too. Right, when you think about programming and equipment, um, you realize we'll have a ton of those huge names one week from now, a portion of the Radiant 7. And there's a ton of man-made intelligence there too. Right, what is your take on profit one week from now? So I believe they will be great. And I think the market's set up most likely to revitalize one week from now. You know, whether you return and you take a gander at Meta and a portion of the others, the beat rates will generally be high on a normal day. When they report, they're up 2% in addition to. So I think they'll take everyone back to the story that truly matters, which is income CU. I think loan fees and expansion have been a tad of an interruption. I see that as the commotion. I see income as the news. This quarter, perhaps we do 3, 5, 7% in profit development. And afterward, it's 10% going ahead for a really long time. So it, I think it'll take everyone back to the uh, understanding that profit matter. And they're very good when you think back on your vocation. How might you rate your hopefulness and bullishness that you say here today? versus how you've been throughout the long term. Conan Bull. Well, I'm not a steady bull, and we've supported our portfolios before. So, assuming things get bizarre, we'll fence yet. When I watch out and I have 1,000 clients and families all around the nation, thus I get to see narratively independent companies utilizing computer-based intelligence. And they're utilizing it. They're managing their staffs, and they're making more edges. As it's not only a major organization story, it's a little organization story too. Computer-based, intelligence is oxygen, and everyone will inhale it without precedent. For Intel's set of experiences, the semiconductor monster is set to report the financials of its item plan organizations independently. From its chip fabricating tasks, the organization uncovered this new construction recently, and this means future income deliveries will appear to be significantly unique than past ones. For Intel's forthcoming quarter one report, Money Road examiners have uncovered that they expect the chip organization to post quarterly income of $0 and three per share indica aiding a year-over-year -year development of 425. They'd likewise anticipate that Intel's incomes should be around 12.76 billion, up 8.9% from similar quarter a year prior. Anyway, not all experts are bullish on the organization, and some of them even anticipate that it should miss on its income for this quarter. So what precisely is the situation and what should financial backers expect? We should figure out, hi everybody, and welcome back to Investra as rate cut wager shift. So have moves in a single area, specifically portions of AMD and Intel, both down more than 15%. Over the most recent 30 days, the Philadelphia Semiconductor record, otherwise called SOX, dropping more than 10% from late highs. Uh, regardless of a higher rate climate, our next visitor is as yet bullish.